So I have uh, gotten into racing sim a lot just over the last two and a half, maybe three weeks. And by saying that, I mean, you know, I have started to put time and effort into investigating um, whether or not it would pay off if I buy a little uh, uh, a a steering wheel um, you know I have a maybe 15 year old steering wheel a Microsoft Sidewinder even without force feedback it still gets the job done but You know, I thought I'm um, I'm enjoying racing that much that um, I give it a shot with a half decent um, half decent steering wheel, and um, then um, at some point there's a there's devices which I haven't made my mind up yet that enables you to use one and the same one. Racing wheel for all consoles and computers. That's basically, you know, an adapter for to use the steering wheel on all the devices. Which is, uh, you either have a steering wheel usually when you buy them off the shelf without any modification. It usually it goes it suits the Xbox or the um, or. A a PlayStation 3, 4 combination plus PC, and that little device it costs another 50 pound. Um, you know, makes the steering wheel available on the Xbox as well, in combination with a laptop. Um, just need to find out whether or not the uh, MacBook is supported because I'm not going to buy a Windows laptop. Um, Yeah, and once I got that sorted, and once I found out whether or not um, I do like, um, you know, getting more and more into the rabbit hole of, um, you know, more serious sim racing, <coughs> um, I think I will start um, making videos on that as well in terms of, I mean every once in a while I post racing videos I always did but you know I never talked about that on, uh, on, on YouTube I mean maybe I'm getting into that I'm not sure but I'm, I'm certainly more than just a little bit interested in uh, getting my head around uh, racing sims. So the games I'm currently considering, well, I I have them on the PC, and that's where I'm starting out. Is Assetto Corsa, Race 07, and all these sim, uh, you know, GTR and these kind of things. Um, Race 07, uh, GTR, GTR Evolution. Uh, Assetto Corsa uh, and what was the other game? Uh, Project Cars. Yeah. And as soon as I made the decision whether or not I stay with racing, <coughs> I will buy that uh, converter thing. So for the future, whenever I want to. Uh, play a racing game or you know upgrade my steering wheel I can do so without buying two steering wheels because uh, you know coming back to what I said um, I purchased a Xbox because of Forza and <coughs> <coughs> should I be into um, that racing and sim racing thing, you can be sure that I will be playing the shit out of fours or six. I mean, I'm already doing that with the uh, with the controller, but it's a whole nother it's a whole nother story when you play on a 
on a decent wheel, um, you know, put all the fucking, um, a steering adjust, a steering help us off, you know, and actually drive a car, like, like you would with a real car, you know, stability control, uh, lo electronic lock brakes, or anti-lock brakes off and all that shit. <coughs> and then actually race, uh, you know. Because racing on the on the console is uh, with a with a controller is pretty much like playing a shooter game on the console. You are not aiming, you know. They the computer is assisting you, or the, the you know the console is assisting you in in your aim, which in my books is you know more or less cheating, but. takes away the necessity to develop, you know, decent aiming skills. But then again, you know, I'm I'm not blaming <coughs> because, you know, the the precision with the sump controllers can't be that high. Um, so and it's very limited. So therefore, I can kind of understand why there is a limitation. Uh, and why there's a necessity for a, for the aiming help. That's kind of, you know, <coughs> for a computer gamer like me, you know, aim assist on the, c on the console is like the pussy mode. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's like these guys, they are the high level guys on the console. They're getting their aim no assisted in order to make a hit, whereas on the mm -hmm. computer you need to make sure you have that aim so you can find out who, you know, there's no doubt that the uh, players that play on a high level on the console do play well. <coughs> but I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, the requirements um to become a good player on the PC is <coughs> is actually against the players actually higher you 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 know you not only need a uh need a need to understand the game in terms of mechanics <coughs> no you need to really develop decent muscle memory and uh, hand eye coordination so so the requirements are on an, on another level compared to the console um, but you know I'm not into that teenager kind of thing you know master race PC elite consoles and you know I leave that to the kids they can fight that battle um, I'm just stating my observation and I'm actually pretty emotionless to towards that topic, you know, I actually couldn't care less. Um, this was like problem solving, you know, I, uh, that's my approach to gaming, you know, I game whatever platform suits me the best in terms of having fun with a, with a particular game and, you know, that silly old bashing of the console that I that I don't have is uh, it's a little bit lol isn't it that I leave that to the trolls that don't have uh, a mind for thinking but for flaming you know it's like when you have a problem you know you apply the best tools in order to solve the problem you know the most appropriate tools and you want to have fun you apply the most appropriate tools that provide fun to you and I don't actually give a shit if I would if I would find that fun on a PlayStation 4 only or on an Xbox one only I would give a damn rat shit about what people think about 
about it, you know. And you read these 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 comments on YouTube sometimes, you know, and people making fun of the Xbox, you know, not having the graphics capabilities compared to the PlayStation, you know, and people making fun of the uh, odd way of, you know, user experience on the PlayStation. It's, that's just ridiculous. It's just That's what teenagers do, I guess. You know, doing ridiculous shit in order to clash each other. You know, I'm not saying I was different, <laughs> but I'm not anymore. Like, you know, I'm not making a joke out of myself in front of the public. You know, that's that's teenagers' job. Arad Crater um, was always, you know, my perception of that uh, story element here was always, you know, it could be a little bit shorter because my wrath is low. generally speaking, the story mode, I think it's you know, over time they did a few changes on it, and I think it's relatively o okay when it comes to you know how it's crafted together and all the rest of it. Um, but it could be shorter because I'm you know as a Diablo two player, or you know coming from you know how can I say you know I'm not interested in that shit. Um, you know, I'm interested in it, you know, but I'm interested not with, uh, with that high of an emphasis, you know. I'm interested in repetitive, you know, <laughs> hack and slay, you know, that kind of thing. And not that story mode, you know, taking an age and an age in order to get to the boss mode, you know, battling your way through some trash mobs. To that extent, I think uh, for when you play hard, um, no, what's that game mode where you die uh, permanently? Hard, uh, hardcore. I think for hardcore, I can actually understand. I need to get out of here. I can actually understand that they're doing that, I have to say. Um, you know, require the player to be a little bit slower. I mean, that's actually, if you play solo, hardcore solo, it's uh, actually the right thing to do in my books, you know, to play, you know, to play it safe. Um, this is what I do on the PC anyways, because I don't, you know, I don't have a friend who plays hardcore, so I am. I need to rely on myself when it comes to playing hardcore on the PC, and I do actually enjoy hard playing hardcore. Um, because with hardcore, you need you really need to focus. You can't just play, you know, consume the game on the side, if you know. Um, and and sometimes. Um, you know, I just need that. So, but, you know, then you really, you really, really need to focus on what you're doing. Plus, you really, you know, need to be slow, uh, gradually build your equip and, and all the rest of it. And therefore, that slow paced uh, leveling is actually appropriate, I would say. Uh, 
Um, I just realized I need new fighting gear, uh, new weapons. So I it takes the mobs forever to get down if I don't use a Rust Bender. The box standard damage output is. Uh, Yeah, the box standard output from the standard attacks is uh, it's not really decent. 